Okay, back to it. We're almost at the end of the game, actually. This took a lot less time than I thought it would. I'm just, I thought it would take a long time because of how scared I was of it. It, it took a really long time for me to finish. It took me quite a few days. Because, like, I was way too afraid to move ahead and all that. But now I know where everything is. It's just sort of... I'm still scared, but I know what I'm doing. Okay, see these? They won't work. You need to fix the gears for it, which are, uh... I'm sure this way. This took me a while to figure out, because I couldn't find out where the gears were. Now I think I'm going to keep that tinderbox. Just in, you know, emergencies, you know? What's my sanity? Crystal clear. Oh, sweet. Agrippa, I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon. I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Okay, see that? Don't walk towards him. See those spikes still hurt. Like alive, hell. Stella. You want to stop Alexander? Oh my. So Babylon shall fall, you say. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. Yes. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sector is basically a penetrant. Well, guess my home. It could be breached by another, but Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Well, if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken home and mend their way. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak matters, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the clock yeah. and the transit. So you have to find six pieces of an orb to get to where Alexander is. But the problem is this gear needs to be fixed. Now I'll tell you right now, this gear took me friggin' ages just to find. There we go. I hate to bother you, but if you really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me this year? No. I know it sounds ridiculous. I'm sorry for being so harsh, but I can't do it. I just can't be bothered to do the formula. I'm just gonna do the revenge ending, I'm sorry. You go back up here. Need to turn the uh turn the le levers. Alright, now we have opened both doors to each torture chamber. Now, the torture chamber is a bad place. The orbs, as he said, practically leak madness. So when you're around them, you will start to lose sanity very quickly. You need to pick them up as fast as you can. Daniel, you have gone too far. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh-huh. You just try and stop me, bitch. But I'm the one who's gonna stop you. You see. You see. How are things coming? Pretty good. You got the doors open? 
Good goal. I knew you could do it. Right, go this way. It is this way, right? The hell? Oh, you... Huh. Okay, then. Um, need to use the water bucket on that? Find her. Whatever. Anyway, let's go here. Transit. Now, there are no monsters. None whatsoever. Not a one. You just need to find three pieces of the orb and then leave. And in the other door, which is on the opposite side, there are another three pieces of the orb, making six in total. After you get all six, you have to go to the one area and get tar. You put the tar into where the orb goes to mend the orb together. So they won't stick bearer. together otherwise. How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Now, as soon as you go into the torture chambers, where the orb is held, you take the orb right away. Don't stand around and don't wait. Whoa! 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 whoa I don't have time for this! There's the orb. Don't stand around, don't wait. Just take the orb and run. Look at that, I'm already on... Head is pounding and hands are shaking. That's pretty low. Here. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Parts rather boring, I will admit. <laughs> 